Good luck. Thanks. So when I was a kid, we'd go to this place called Buffalo Peaks camping, and I loved it, except for one part, the very end, where my father insisted that we leave the campground better than we found it. I'll let you guess which fashionable kid on the screen is me. When I think to the future of the planet, I think back to my father's words. How do we leave the planet better than we found it? Our answer at Purpose is very simple. Doing good for the planet and making a return is the model to solve for the climate crisis. Why not reward those that care? In terms of who cares, I was shocked to learn that here in Europe, 93% of Europeans see the climate as a serious issue. But only 14% of climate investments are made by individuals? What if we empowered those 93% to directly invest in the future of the planet? That's our mission at Purpose. But in order to have real impact, we must have scale. And scale comes from large buildings. Large buildings emit one-third of greenhouse gas energy. They must transition away from fossil fuels. In Switzerland, where we're based, we've identified 1.2 million of these buildings. But four out of five cannot afford to do the transition. That's where we come in. We package up building energy transition as an investment accessible to you and to me. Let's use a real world example. This is our pilot project. As you can see, the building had solar installed, as were EV chargers and a heat pump. This building is no longer using fossil fuels, an investment accessible to you and to me. Now you've done your investment, you log into the Purpose platform, you can see typical financial projections. But equally, what you're going to learn is that you have directly enabled an environmental impact because that building is no longer using fossil fuels. Purpose has done multiple experiments to get this model right for the investor and for the building owner. Let's start with the investor. Number one, transparent impact. As I showed you, that building's no longer using fossil fuels. Number two, investors want something that's de-risked. As this diagram shows, you're investing alongside experts, giving you a peace of mind. Number three, understanding how the returns are generated. The returns are generated because once the building's creating energy, that energy is sold, allowing for everybody that participates in the investment to make a return. Let's get back to our building owners. Are they motivated? Yes, they just got energy transition at no cost. They also don't have regulatory pressure. And once the project's complete, that there's 35% reduction in their energy bill. Purpose makes money off of the commissions of funds raised. Project developers like working with us because they are able to win new projects having local and global investors involved. Now you know a little bit about this, let's meet the team. Surrounded myself with serial entrepreneurs. Fleur had her first exit in 2007. Christophe Marshall, three exits, one IPO. And I'm Kevin Kyer, co-founder and CEO. I started the first part of my career in pixels and algorithms. Now I think about CO2 and kilowatt hours. Let's talk about the road ahead. Switzerland is an attractive market to its global reputation. We have 150 million in the pipeline alone. 40% growth, and as we think of our go-to-market, obviously we will expand beyond Switzerland. We would not be here without an incredible set of partners that share in our vision of the future. CVVC, Conta Energy, Green FinTech Network, just to name a few. Fast forward five years from now, we should all be logging into our bank accounts and with a flick of a thumb, be able to make a purposeful investment that we know is leaving the planet far better than we found it. We will leave the planet better we, than we found it by investing in the future of the planet. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thanks. Awesome, thanks a lot, Kevin. Thanks some more. Yeah, sure. Thanks so much, Kevin. So how do you get project developers to take your money alongside banks? Because talking to yet another funder is more work, more due diligence. Do you give cheaper debt than banks, or how do you get them in? So the weighted average cost of capital will go up, depending on the structure of the deal. So some of the deals are debt. We want to have an entire toolbox of different offers, depending on the size of the deal, the structure of the deal, et cetera. A developer does it because it is unique, right? So you're saying, hey, for example, where we are in Switzerland, here's a large project. Of course, you're going to get the large investors to come in on that deal, but actually you can offer this up to the local community as well. So if you think of it like a large scale um, you know, building transformation project, it's a differentiating factor for them. 
But you're right, there is going to be an adjusted uh, weighted average cost of capital, but you know, we're talking small basis points to win the deal. Thanks, Kevin. Great presentation. Love this, and I would love to invest in this as, in, as a consumer. Um, <clears throat> how do you, uh, speaking of, uh, you would need to acquire me as a customer. What's your customer acquisition cost? So what we've been doing, which is typical at our stage, is a bunch of founder-led sales, right? So I'm in a bunch of different climate networks. When we do advertise, we get about a four to five X click-through rate. So as we think through our go-to-market, right now it's, it's building a foundation. It's understanding all the ins and outs of what's going on. Further on down the line, probably 20% in terms of how we see about it, 20% of our customer acquisition will be direct to consumer. It's more about the distribution. So distribution coming in from banks, because the banks don't have a private market solution like this. And so that's ultimately how we think the scale comes. I guess was, uh, what I was looking at is your CAC 12 TV. What are you projecting there? We don't have, we're not in a position for uh, knowing exactly what our LTV be at the moment. But if you think of it from a um, cost of the project and what we're getting, five to 8%, obviously whatever anybody invests, we need to achieve anything above that. We don't have an exact figure on that just yet, but obviously over time we'll get to it. Thanks, Kevin. Um, if we think about, ultimately we're creating a new asset class here. We can think about that. Um, a, to your point of distribution, how do you collect the capital at what different channels? Are you thinking about integrating with banks, other brokers, and how do you drive the education there? So I, I agree with you. I think there's a lot of things out there that when they first come out, you've, you've got to educate the market in terms of what's going on. We go back you know, 10, 15 years, nobody used the word crowdfunding. So I think what we have to really be thinking through is understanding the why that people are doing this. And when we've been going to market and the people that are using it, these are people that have already started doing ESG, green financing through the public market. So as we go through this education process, we're really targeting folks that have already made a public market solution. And then we're saying, hey, here's a private market solution. It's in your local community. And then I think showing through those proof points of, hey, I can drive by that building, walk by that building, have confidence in what's happened. We'll, we need to get through there, but I agree with you. There will, there will be an education process to go through. Guess two questions, super briefly. Is this construction finance or refinancing the projects? And secondly, where, why do you need VCs? <laughs> so construction finance uh, does happen because Switzerland's super far behind, but not new construction as in the building. This is about renovation, right? So there's 1.2 million uh, projects that are 1.2 million buildings that need renovation. The other part of your question was, oh, and then refinancing. So we can acquire deals and then refinance those deals, absolutely. And in terms of VC, we want to grow like crazy. So there's no reason not to go to VCs. All right, time is up, I'm sorry. Let's give a huge round for Kevin. Thank you. Thanks a lot.